Hi there, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed part one of this playthrough. I'm going to pick up from where I left off last time. And uh, we just uh, finished uh, saving an Alduri uh, sword lord from a group of assassins sent to kind of end her life after she hired us to go into the Stolen Lands and found a kingdom there. So uh, we have now formed our adventuring party consisting of brave Sir Falcon Talamir and his uh, virtuous allies, including a talkative bard, Amiri, the very angry barbarian, and uh, the captain of the uh, Sword Lord's Guard, uh, Valerie, I think? Valerie, maybe? All right, so it looks like I've got a map of the region, and if I recall correctly, I'm looking for a shelter. Let's see. I'm looking for the trading post of Oleg Leviton. Leviton? So from here, it looks like I can move around the map. Well, all right then. Huh. Well, that was a bit unexpected. Okay, looks like I went zooming down the map, and I am now going to run into a random encounter. Oh no, thylacines. All right, let's see what I got going on here. First of all, we can do it. Let us strike as one. Well, might as well have her inspire courage. And rage seems like the right call. Have Amiri go run off and deal with one by herself. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, end of the first round. One of the uh, thylacines is dead. Amiri is right about to chop one in half. And it looks like everybody else has changed targets. I see no reason to change tactics. All right. Well, that battle couldn't have gone better. Looks like combat is over. Haven't checked the corpses. I guess I could skin them. What do I have here? Some thylacine pelt. All right, sure, we'll pick that up. All right. So this was my first ever random encounter. So I think if I just go back up here, I end up going back to the map. <laughs> All right, that's pretty great. The uh. The uh, miniature for the random encounter has been knocked aside. All right. So it looks like I have traveled all the way to Owen's trading post with only one random encounter on the way. And that has taken me a little bit of time, but uh, let's go into Oleg's trading post and see what happens. It's a pretty big map to explore, and I'm kind of interested to see how they play this out. Um, the original Kingmaker Adventure Path had an awful lot of exploration as part of its uh, kind of core objectives. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out here in the game. Uh, I am very interested to explore my first kind of settlement. It is done! I forgot about my, uh, save, save yourself? Why, why do I have to save myself? What's, what's going on? <laughs> no stopping now. <laughs> Bandits. This is not going to go well for them. 
Well, it looks like I have a couple choices here. I think I'm going to start off by just asking what's going on here. Ah, uh, servants for the Stag Lord, huh? I'm not here to put up with these thugs. Well, this does seem like the right way for a paladin. I can let them walk away in peace, or... the murder. Their choice. Oh, hey. Looks like one bandit's trying to leave, but the other one is not having anything to do with it. Charge! Well, this is about to turn into a mess. All right. This didn't work. I must be doing it wrong. This didn't work. I must be doing it wrong. Oh, I can't charge. Not a clear line. Alright, let's go. Won't give up. Can it be the end? Oh no. Falcon is down again. This is what I get for leaving him at uh, not great hit points. Alright. That's no good at all. Let us strike as one. I have a cure light wounds. See if I can get my leader back up and running. Yes. Almost there. Oh no. Still losing hit points quickly. Gotta take out this bandit fast. Tear them apart! Serves you right. Do not fall flat. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, it looks like combat is over, we but move. I definitely need to drink a potion. That helped a bit. All right. Well party is all back up and together. Let me loot some bandits. Seeing as, as I'm in a settlement, I think I might pick up everything, even though it's going to slow me down a bit. Because I think I might be able to sell some of this stuff soon. Well, here's hoping, anyway. Always a good idea to pick up loot when you're near a settlement. Ah, Oleg. All right, looks like uh, poor Oleg is worried that the Stag Lord is going to come back. I don't know if this is his wife. I think it might be. Yes. Svetlana. Well, looks like I have some options in setting up a bit of a trap for the bandits. That might help. Oh, I think I like the idea of uh, using alchemist fire to uh, create some sort of bomb by the gate. Let's let's look at that. All right. Looks like I've completed that quest. It also looks like I have leveled up. I stand ready. I tire of waiting. I have leveled up. I think I'm going to continue picking up levels of Paladin. That is probably the smart way to go, which gives me Divine Grace. So my saving throws just all went up significantly. Um, that is going to add my Charisma bonus to my saving throws, so those all shot up uh, quite a bit. And it gives me, gives me Lay on Hands. So it looks like I can now uh, heal other characters. That should be nice. I uh, don't get any more ability scores, but I do get some skill points to uh, assign, so I think I'm going to go ahead and increase my persuasion. It seems like a good thing to keep up. should probably 
get that perception up a little bit too. And instead of getting the athletics up further because it's kind of in the dumps right now, I think I might get a little knowledge world. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that looks reasonable. So I now have the ability to lay on hand self and others. That'll be great. I can now use persuasion to demoralize my foes. And I can treat disease and poison. Handy. Some of that is really similar to what you see in the role-playing game. It's not identical, but it is, uh, it is pretty similar. So, I've leveled everybody up. Uh, that was really handy. I uh, leveled up after the fight with the bandits, and now I need to look around for places that I might be able to put the tar traps down before the bandits return. So might as well go around and see if there's any spots that make sense. Uh, ooh, potatoes! I have found potatoes. Well, here I was going to be worried that uh, all was going to be lost, but I found potatoes, so... Uh, also using that guard tower for laundry. No wonder bandits attack these people. I'd attack them too if they just use their watchtowers for laundry. I mean, and if I wasn't a paladin, right? Let me go talk to Boken here. Ah, an herbalist. Useful. All right. Well, he's not going to help, but he did give me a potion, so I'll take it. If there is more laundry up here, I'm going to be very disappointed. No. Right, there we go. Okay, it looks like I've explored the outpost. Uh, everything except for uh, going inside, which looks like I can't quite do until we have dealt with the bandits. Alright! The bandits are coming. We cannot be defeated. <laughs> I like how it's before the fight even starts, things go south pretty quick. <laughs> well, that's unexpected. They are all chasing after the innkeep, so I'm going to have to go take care of that before that gift becomes a problem. I can't cast it like that. We can do it! Everybody, pick your bandit and charge. Oh, things are about to get messy. still up. I haven't even... looks like a mirror might have taken a light hit. <laughs> kind of letting auto combat take care of business right now because I've got some archers out there, but taking care of them is kind of goal one now. This tar is slowing down everybody, and my guys included, ended up being not the best deal. This poor, poor guy. <laughs> The last one. No. Oh, and that would be it for the bandits. All right. Well, that went swimmingly. What's this? A cloak, huh? We'll take it all. March on. Hey there, Oleg. Uh, 
Well, 100 gold for killing a bunch of bandits is not uh, not too bad for a day's work. I will take it. It also looks like I get a room up in the inn. That's nice. I guess we will head inside. Now that I'm out here making a name for myself. This is my path. Might as well go talk to Svetlana, see how she's doing. This food for uh, me. I don't know that I should just be taking food from you. I'm afraid of alignment penalties. <laughs> Instead, I think we'll just go upstairs and rest like we've been told to. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a cat. Hear me. Please hear me. Can you hear me? Please. What is going on? It's clearly freaking out this cat. This cat wants nothing to do with this. Who, who are you? Who am I? Just a tear shed by the land itself. The bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area. The defeated guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. Aid. Salvation. We have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him. The one you call the Stag Lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. My forests and my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon even I will vanish as the last ray of light fades at dusk. Oh no. Yes. It hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. But while responsible, he did not create this affliction. It is the work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade, but even I was unable to defeat him. Well, of course I'm going to offer to help. I mean, this poor nymph is being tortured by this horrible, horrible stag lord. This fog, it enshrouds, entangles, suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created. But my powers wane. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house, and it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The Stag Lord and his druid were there. The fog hides this place from me, but I can point you to the bandits' camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there and listen to the echo. Catch the whispers. Search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, nature will breathe again. And you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. So, it looks like I need to go to the Thornford, beat some enemies there, find out from them where the cabin is, where the fog was created. That should allow me to turn off the fog and find the fortress of the Staglord. Okay, well that makes sense. Thank you, Nymph. I don't believe in fate, stranger. But our meeting seems more than a coincidence. Huh. Fascinating. Okay, well that's a cool piece of exposition. Looks like I have allies amongst the Fae. Well, that's, that's certainly useful. Looks like this is the sort of uh, kind of exploration zone where you can uh, 
pick up and leave allies behind, which means that all of this is probably mine. Put here uh, by uh, future me. Let's go with that. I will assume that is the case. We'll apply some video game logic here and assume that I'm not going to get dinged for uh, looting the uh, cabinets up here. Huh. Well, it also looks like I have time to chat with some of my fellow compatriots. Well, I don't want to bore all of you with uh, reading a bunch of silent dialogue trees, so I think I will save all of that for a bit of offline exploration. If you're playing the game yourself, I highly recommend you chat with all of your companions and find out a bit more about them. If during my play I uh, notice anything interesting, I'll make sure to cut to it, but otherwise uh, we'll just keep things moving. Huh. Looks like another rogue adventurer hanging out in my trading post. <laughs> ah, Gallowspire. You don't want to go down there. That's a place I invented. <laughs> well, disgraced former Pathfinder uh, hanging out in my lodge. That also offers uh, to summon another group of adventurers here for 2,000 gold, which is way more than I have to spend right now, but uh, that is quite useful. Look at the, oh my god! What? What's this red panda? That is too adorable. Oh, that is the most ridiculously adorable thing ever. <laughs> Got a Miri practicing back here. I suppose I should probably chat with her a bit. Well, I think it's about time I get going. I, it does make me wonder if I'm supposed to gather my party first. All right, well, looks like I'm back on the map now. I've got a lot of different places I can go. There's the Band of Fog. Makes me wonder if I'm supposed to head south to try and find these bandits. Ah, uh, that is a long way to travel. But I really don't see that I have any other choice, so I think that's the way I'm going to go. Oh, wait. This is where I need to go. The Thorn Ford. The path to this place is unknown, so I guess I go this way. Huh. Well, I'm trying to get there, but uh, unfortunately, there are going to be some bandits in the way. Or maybe monsters. Okay, an old man tugging at his beard. An old confused man named Remus. He's breathing, walking. Okay, this guy's weird. Poor Remus. He is uh, lost and confused. I should, uh, I should probably go. My rival. Oh no. Oh no, Tartuccio. <laughs> Strange old man in the forest tells you about evil plotting gnome. Huh. It's in an old tomb south of the trading post. Interesting. Well, uh, thank you, weird old man. I should probably 
go. All right. I am uh, mildly concerned that all of my companions are gone. So I guess I'll uh, continue on my way and get out of here. <laughs> it is done. Maybe next time you'll have other people with you. Wait a minute. I don't have anybody with me. This is really bad. <laughs> I just realized, I think I may have deselected my entire party. <laughs> okay, so we learned something here today, and that is to read the menus uh, before you uh, proceed, because I may have unselected my entire party. So now I'm going to leave the map again, and I'm going to... Uh, leave all that stuff behind and I'm going to reassign my entire party <laughs> as opposed to leaving them behind because I'm brave very brave so brave that I don't need friends that's not true <laughs> alright let's try this again alright I'm trying to find my way Ah, uh, there's the ancient tomb where my rival is. Okay, traveling through the woods. I think I'm going to find my way to the Thorn Ford. Oh no! We've been spotted. We've spotted the enemies. I'm gonna fight them. Bring it on! I'm spoiling for a fight had enough of talking to old weird men. What are these? Bandits, huh? Alright. First up. Let's do a bit of charging. Mary. It's time to rage. And also run an attack. Let us strike as one. We'll turn on some bardic music and let's go. Wow, all right. Well, that took care of them quite succinctly. I think we, we will can do it. have Falcon go deal with that. And the other two go deal with the archer. The short archer in this case. Uh, I believe we are now out of bed, guys. <laughs> Problem solved on that front. I'm going to pick up leather armor. It lays way too much for the value. But those bows, they are worth it. Adventures call to them. Eh, not gonna bother the short swords. All right, everybody, time to roll. We have killed more bandits. Always useful. Time to make my way back toward the ford. I think I need any of that. There comes a point in time where you start looking at equipment very critically. You start realizing that you can't afford the weight. That's uh, always been very true in computer games. I think in, in Pathfinder we normally just are like, we kind of hand wave it and are like, yeah, you pick up all their junk and you can sell it later. It's nice to have a bit more realism in that front, I guess. Alright, it looks like I've found the Thorn Ford. I expect this to be a challenging fight.
So I'm kind of exploring this map, and I guess I kind of assumed that the bad guys would just be right around uh, the fjord. No stopping I'm not now. seeing them. They must have a camp nearby that I'm just not seeing. So I think I'm going to wander off into the woods and see if I can't find them. Just tell me where the house is. <laughs> We're not flesh eating madmen. I promise. Now please come over closer to our fire. Ah! You. Oh boy. I guess I should have seen this coming. Alright, we'll start off with some bardic music. It's one of those things that, uh, if you've played a lot of Pathfinder, you kind of just do instinctively. I suppose I should explain that for those of you who haven't played a lot. If you have a bard in your party, bardic music is the first thing you do. If you have a barbarian in the party, raging is the first thing that you do. I have a bunch of ordinary bandits here. charge to attack, so I'm not going to bother with that. But I think I will Let us strike as attack. one. We can do it. Tear them apart. Yeah! So I've got my bardic music up and running. That's a good start. feel like I might want to cast Blast. This is a big enough fight. I'm going cast Blast. Alright, I've cast Blast. Now the next thing I probably want to do... Oh no, my bard is going down. Looks like the archers managed to take out my bard. That's bad. Alright, I assume I have lay on hands in here somewhere for myself. to go down and see if I can Do not falter. send her to go deal with him while the others go to deal with the other archers. Huh. Do I have another range or do I have to use ranged? I think I can swap over. With all your might, we won't falter. This is going to be a long, slow fight if I have to fight with just bow and arrow. Very slow. I don't think anybody else has any ranged weapons. Looks like everyone's been uh, hurt. Better drink a I wrote it like I saw it. Yeah, always a good call. All right, 
Time to loot some bodies. Well, there's definitely some valuable treasure here. Svetlana's wedding ring. Well, I definitely have to take that back. Scale mail is way too heavy for me to bother carrying. I tire of waiting. Once again, those composite bows are quite valuable and worth picking up. There comes a point where you eventually start uh, looting based on weight to money value. Uh, I have clearly reached that point here. Sweet pancakes recipe. Hot damn. <laughs> Orders, huh? Cressel, a task. As soon as you're done with the taxes, find an old hut in the woods upstream of the Thorn River and burn it to the ground. This is the Stag Lord's wish. He literally said, burn, burn. Huh. Well, it looks like I now know where the hut is. Good thing they left a note. Is there a still? Hmm. Jode Kavkin. Priest of Aristil. Alright. How did you get here? Looks like he's looking for an elk temple. Huh. Alright, he's going to go to the trading post and we can uh, find him there. I see it's another crate. Not my lucky day. tried picking the lock and failed. That's unfortunate. Looks like no extra treasure for us. Huh. Well, looks like we have secured most of the area. Scroll of Crosses Touch, some gold coins, an inkwell. Sure. We'll take that. Looks like we've done what we came here to do. Secure the area, although it looks like the chief got away. They'll be going to inform the stag lord, no doubt. Well, look at that. There's the abandoned hut. Hmm. Well, looks like I need to head upstream and take care of that. I see no reason not to follow the river at this point. Resting huh. would be nice, don't you think? Hmm. So I've never looked at the uh, resting screen here. Hunting is required for a rest. The rest will take some time. I don't know if I can adjust people's actions here. It merely looks like everyone has different tasks they can perform, so I might as well just do that. All right. Well, looks like everybody healed up nicely. Everybody got some rest. What's this? Hearty meal. All right, everybody has plus one on their saving throws. That's bound to be useful. Well, 
So I must admit, I am really uh, quite happy with the way you explore the map here. It looks like there's plenty of various points you can go and visit. Who knows what's hiding off in the woods for you to go find. In this case, the abandoned hut is where I need to go. All right, ready for more adventure. Okay, we are at the location of the abandoned hut. Everyone is well rested. It is done. Oh, the guardian of the bloom. Hey, there, everybody. Uh, this is the person I see when I am sleeping. Um, no need to be afraid, I guess. Just letting the ink dry. What is that? Hey, go grab whatever that is. Some herbs. Very good. Wow, these people are not very nice. Check uh. that out. person. Can't go wrong with that. Aww. This doesn't seem to be going well. I'm not 100% sure what I'm seeing here, but I'm definitely seeing a struggle between... Is this the Stag Lord? Stopping now. Huh. I have been waiting for you. The flowers, birds, and wind told me you would come. Oh, my poor flowers. They will perish before long in this fog. I kind of feel like my character's probably looking back at the others going, Yeah, I this is somebody I met while I was asleep. It's it's fine. Don't worry. It's uh it's fine. Oh, <laughs> and they can't, they can't, they can't see her. So that's even better. Uh, yeah, no, that's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, mysterious talk with nobody. Do you really wish to know? Fine, I'll tell you. Fairy tale. Once upon a time, there lived a young nymph. She lived in an enchanted forest where thousand birds sung day and night, where the sun often left a spark or two hanging in the tree crowns, and where the starlight fell on sleepy glades like a glowing soft haze. The young nymph loved simple things. Like sitting by the stream with her friends, braiding each other's hair, and adorning their braids with crystals made of dew, or watching the flowers blooming. But inside her soul, the young nymph dreamed of something more. Oh, dreams. Nothing in any world can live without them. 
Even a seed that falls in fertile soil cannot sprout without the dream of the sun. The same was true for Armin. She wished to turn her enchanted forest into a true fairy tale kingdom and fill it with thousands of wonders. But plans so ambitious rarely go unnoticed by greater powers. Mm. Those greater powers decided to punish the nymph for her boldness. They sent a horrible monster to poison the enchanted forest and kill the singing birds. The nymph was forced to flee. And finally she found shelter here in the stolen lands. Here she hoped to sprout the seeds of a new dream even as she mourned the dream she'd lost. But then, the magic mist appeared, killing everything that lived. And the nymph cast about, desperately searching for help. So far, these are the fairy tale's final words. But I hope this is not the end, just yet. One day, Perhaps I will tell you more, but it doesn't matter now. We uh -huh. need to concentrate on the problems at our doorstep. The Stag Lord, the Druid, the Mist. Ah, uh, interesting. Yes, yes. The soil, water, and stones here are infused with toxic pain and fear. I poison this place as we speak. You have seen where your enemy's journey began. The one called Stag Lord was once the victim of a cruel madman and has since become one himself. You see now how monsters are born. Ah, now it all makes sense. What comes of regret for a thing you cannot change. There is no time to be lost. We must do away with the fog quickly. So the Stag Lord was tortured by his mad band of a father, that's the visions we've been seeing, and has now become, uh, it's a cycle of violence. Search the area around the hut. Try to find anything that remained of the druid who lived here. I am sure the fog is his doing. This suffocating veil is as vicious as his nature. We should learn more about the fog and the ritual through which it was created. Return to me if you find anything. The past may hide the answers that shape the future. I will be waiting. Alright, so it looks like I need to search around the area and see what I can find. Moss. I see something. Ah, the green faith. Certainly useful. about the Temple of the Elk. That's useful. You come again. Did you find something? An ancient temple. The Temple of the Stag God. Ah. Yes, yes, that must be it. The place of power where the Druid created the fog. Perhaps we'll be able to cleanse it from there. The temple hides in the thicket not far from here. Ah. You'll need to go there and purge the place of whatever evil still lingers there, summoned by the druid's sinister ritual. Take care. You are my only hope. Well, that was uh, shockingly simple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I just kind of lucked out. I might as well search around the rest of the place, though, see if there's anything useful up here. This requires like your this attention. Crate. Some jade, a bone necklace, 
this money. Blood for Gorum! Oh, hey, a ferocious wolf was hiding in there. <laughs> oh, no. Right. Everybody, go uh, make with the murder. Uh, oh, this is not good. Oh, I could probably uh, swap back. I think I'm still in my ranged kit from the previous fight. Wolf is proving to be quite the difficult threat. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Managed to kill it. All right. Got some meat. We'll go ahead and skin it. All right. Oh, we managed to kill the wolf. That's good. Huh. There are no valuables inside the chest. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, we killed the wolf. Got some meat, I guess. Yeah, there really is nothing in there. Okay. Well... I think that's all there is to this map, at least that's all that I'm finding, so I guess it's probably time to move on. Well, it looks like there is the Temple of the Elk. Now, I could have sworn... Some different characters available to me. Yeah. He wants us to help him find it. It does make me wonder if I should go get him. I'm starting to feel like maybe I should. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to try and travel there myself. Going over land. Let's see what else I can find while I'm making my way there. What is that? Resting would be Moist nice. Basin. Don't you think? Huh. Good to know. Yes, I know you want to rest already. We're almost back I'm to hungry. town. When we stop. All right, well, we've made it back to town. I think this is a perfect opportunity for me to uh, rest up, chat with uh, the uh, character, and see if he's ready to join my quest now that I know where the Temple to the Elk is. And uh, we'll uh, pick it up from here next time. I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. Um, I certainly have enjoyed playing. And uh, next session, I think we'll go and tackle the Temple of the Elk. All right, until next time. Thank you.